Almost half the victims of Melbourne's freak thunderstorm asthma event last year had never been diagnosed with the dangerous lung condition, and that's according to a new investigation. But as medical reporter Emily Rice explains, there was one common condition almost all those treated did share. Having never been diagnosed with asthma, Emma Hart was scared when she suddenly couldn't breathe while home alone with her daughter on November 21 last year. Deep gasps for, for breath. Like a, it was really, really difficult uh, to get air in. The 41-year-old was among almost 9,000 people treated during the thunderstorm asthma outbreak, which claimed nine lives. I remember apologising because the whole time I'd just been thinking, you're being really dramatic, you haven't got asthma, so why are you calling an ambulance? But a new asthma Australia investigation into the freak event has found around 40% of victims had never been diagnosed with asthma and less than a quarter knew the appropriate first aid response. So this was an unprecedented event globally. The epidemic was triggered when the storm whipped up high levels of inflammatory grass pollen particles. In common to 90% of victims, however, was a history of hay fever, the allergic reaction to environmental allergens such as pollens. Royal Melbourne Hospital's Professor Joe Douglas says seasonal allergy sufferers should take respiratory symptoms seriously. Nearly all the people that we've seen in hospital and sub that I've, we've seen subsequently who suffered at the time all suffered from hay fever. Allergy experts say an improved thunderstorm asthma alert system is needed and while it's stormy across Melbourne today, the respiratory risk is actually higher later in the year when pollen counts peak. Is St John Ambulance recommends also having an emergency inhaler on hand. Melbourne is you know, one of the asthma capitals uh, of the world. So having a, uh, an inhaler handy is a small investment. I now carry a Ventolin always. Emily Rice, 9 News.